Well, that was fun. Anyways, welcome everybody to Cyber Realm. Today I am introducing a new playstyle for a champion that you may have not seen me play whatsoever in my channel before. This is Vi, and this is after patch 8.11. So, prepare your buttholes, because this will hurt. So, what I'm introducing today is by utilizing the new build, the new item Storm Razor. So, if you haven't already known, Storm Razor gives you a it's basically the new type of IE. It gives you a 100% crit chance if you haven't attacked in a period of time. Paired up with a good old Dusk Blade and Triforce. And you know what? Just a quick second to sell the boots and pick up a Titanic Hydra. With this, you have the One Punch Vi, or I like to call it the Predator Missile Vi, because technically you're kind of running into them with your ultimate first, and then finishing them off. So, for a quick demonstration of the full combo, I'm just spawn a dummy. So this dummy here has 100 armor, as you may already know. So let's get started. What you do is very simple. You press your Titanic Hydra, you press R, and then once you come down, you press E. And boom. You have all that damage in a matter of... I don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure the DPS was even higher than the um, the total damage there for a second. So meaning my DPS would have been higher, sorry, my damage within a second would have been extremely high. Um, let's just wait for the cooldown one more time. You can do this without even your ultimate. Just charge up, and boom. You have that much damage input, just... The only thing to remind yourself is to make sure that the Dusk Blade is in fact primed before you do this so kind of just wait until all of your items are off cooldown you proc your titanic you press r go in for the e combo if you want to pro proc it off for another auto attack you i just did a total of 2.9k damage right there let's test it on the soraka i'm pretty sure she's not gonna like where she's about to experience but i'm not gonna do this without my i'm not gonna do this with my art there you go and of course, I also, I'm also running the Dark Harvest rune. If you have more Dark Harvest stacks, you would be doing insane amounts of damage. But yeah, this is your unconditional one-shot Vi build. I know like a lot of people are like, okay, well, you're going for one shot, so that means you're squishy, right? Wrong. Take a look. I'm currently level 18, I know. I have 450 AD. I have Titanic Hydra, which boosts my which boosts my health, as well as Steric's Gage with boosts my health, and Triforce that boosts my health. So I'm level 18 with 450 attack damage and 3000 HP. This is nothing to sneeze at. So get into yourself in the team fight, plus Vyska also got her passive to give herself some shields. You're pretty much in a good position to nail down anybody. Not even the tanks can stop you at this point. It doesn't even matter who you're going against. You just got the damage. Like, who can stop you? Boom. Boom. Triforce gives also... Triforce, Triforce, sorry. Triforce also synergizes very well with Vi, since it gives her the Phage effect, the Sheen effect, as well as the attack speed, which Vi could use in this scenario. Anyways, everything still ultimately comes down to that first punch, because after that, you kind of just depend on the rest of your DPS to carry you throughout it. Even better, if you want, pop up Elixir of Wrath, and you got one mean little customer right here. So I got my Dusk Blade primed, I got my ulti primed, let's just prop my Titanic Hydra, go rush in right there, boom! That's 1116 crit damage. I don't even want to talk about how much Soraka just felt the word pain there. Anyways, with that explanation out of the way, let's uh... let's explore a little more at this build. So, as for the choices of this item, first of all you got your Standard jungling item, so this is pretty normal. You can swap it out later on for uh, something of your choosing, but um, really the two key components of your build will be Storm Razor as well as Triforce. Now you might say, okay, well, uh, you can probably pair up a Storm Razor with a Dusk Blade. However, the Dusk Blade is kind of used on champions that's that likes to be in the hiding. Vi is out in the open majority of the time during her ganks. You could try to use this for engages, but I don't recommend it. Triforce will give you a hefty amount of health, sustain, as well as attack speed. So use this to chase down your opponents. Use Storm Razor to go in for the engage. You, with these two items plus your completed Warrior Stalker Split, you're going to be pretty, pretty, 
you're gonna have a lot of damage. Plus, um, the Titanic Hydra gives you a AOE attack, so it kind of synergizes well with her E. I know it's a redundant one, but both activates at the same time, so hey, one attack, uh, one two birds with one stone, right? Gives you a lot of health, gives you a lot of attack damage. Once again, you know, pair that up with a Sterics Gauge, which increases your base attack damage, which in my case actually increases by 62 base attack damage. That's pretty high. Gives you a little more health, gives you a little more tankiness. And then finally, of course, uh, you got the Dust Blade if you really want to burst your buddies, you know. Just hide in a bush real quick, proc your uh, Dust Blade, or somehow proc your Dust Blade, and then just, just get ready to nail them down. Like, I have my ults ready, I have my uh, Dust Blade ready, I have my Titanic ready, and my ulti comes off and cooldown in 35 seconds, so I just gonna prop Titanic. Boom, boom. She's already dead. There's really nothing, no way that a squishy will survive this. Unless they got heavy, heavy peeling, this won't really save them. Plus, that was only from one ult and one E. If that wasn't enough, you can actually follow up with another Q and another E, because that would be already off cooldown. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's look at some of the live footages. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and I That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about what you can potentially do with Vi and Patch 8.11. Honestly, I'm a little frightened by what else other champions can utilize this build and take advantage of it. But you know what? I like OP things. I just don't like OP things being used on me. So therefore, don't use this against me if you see me in your games. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as you may already know, the RP giveaway has now concluded. The winners of the RP giveaway are as follows. For the minor prizes, Paul Purvin, Reef Samarani, Jay Heatherspoon. Congratulations to you guys for winning the $10 RP. And the grand prize of the $20 RP goes to Jagroup Joe. Thank you guys so much for your amazing what if ideas and thank you guys for your participation at all. And for the rest of you guys who has participated in this contest, I cannot tell you how much I am thankful, I am grateful for your participation. If you did not win, do not worry. There will be another one very soon. 
So, stay tuned. Hope you guys will participate again for the next one, and enjoy yourselves. Have a good one. See you guys in the next video.